Hi there and welcome back to this channel and if you are new around here I mostly talk about music production and the gear I use to create the tracks around here, general nerdiness and how you can be creative using computers and software and things like that. But today I just wanted to show off my small uh, chia farming operation and how it's going so far. I haven't really talked that much about cryptocurrency on this channel but i've been active in crypto since 2017 i have a huge interest in it but i'm not one of those guys that uh, tells everyone to buy dogecoin or safe moon which is a scam in my opinion things like that i just buy some big cryptocurrencies like bitcoin and ethereum and i i hold them in addition to my uh, regular investment strategy and it's been <laughs> Well, it's been going pretty good so far. But once in a while I like to discover, well, there's thousands of different cryptocurrency projects out there. It's difficult to find some that are um, legit, if you will, or bring something new to the table. But sometimes I find interesting projects and Chia is one of those. So Chia is a cryptocurrency that you can farm think mining using the leftover space on your hard drives but before you can farm you need to create something called a plot which is usually a file around 100 gigabytes so you want to create this uh, 100 gigabyte file on some fast storage such as an ssd for example but when the file is created you can move it to a slower hard drive and you can farm from that slower hard drive. So when the file is created, you are done. Farming Chia is a process that requires uh, much less power compared to Bitcoin mining, where you need specialized ASICs that draw a huge amount of power. This is one of the main reasons Chia is called a a green cryptocurrency if you will because having a hard drive on is it's not drawing that much power. Maybe, I don't know how much a hard drive draws, maybe 5 watts or something. And uh, let's say if you mine with a GPU, that's, well, at least one GPU on your system, that's probably 300-400 watts. But anyway, the more so-called plots you have, you have a higher chance of winning a block. One block will, at uh, this time of filming this video, will give you two Chias. I've been doing this for about... Uh, I think it's about two weeks. I won one block, so I have uh, two chias now. I can show you how it looks like if I just... Uh, so I just have to block out some of the things here. 6.1 terabytes of uh, storage uh, used. And I've been able to get two chia. Currently I have 62 plots. And at the filming of this video, one Chia is worth around a thousand dollars. So that's not that bad, actually. But with that said, more people are joining. The uh, difficulty on solo farming, which this is, is uh, rising. So that means it's will it could be difficult to win a block for yourself if you solo mine or farm. You can see posts on the Chia subreddit that someone with just a small amount of plot just a few gigabytes has been able to win a block anyway even if it says that it's going to take them years so there is a uh, luck component in all of this so even if it says four months on my PC here you can get lucky and you can get two chias anyway but you can also get unlucky there's a lot of people that have a huge amount of plots but they never get anything so it's you never know the developer team is working on pools however so that will give people some more predictability people will be able to get some consistent rewards from pools uh, later down the line and i can show you the health of my ssds so you can see how they look like i have three 120 gigabyte uh, Kingston SSDs, which I have just uh, thrown together into one uh, big drive so that I can use it as a temporary drive for plotting. And I'm using Crystal Disk Info here. And uh, Crystal Disk Info gives you a uh, overview of the uh, physical hard drives in your system. So the first drive here is my one of my Kingston drives. So it says it's uh, good and uh, it has uh, six, 76% uh, remaining life. Some information here about how it's connected to the PC and uh, things like that. And uh, also here you have total NAND writes. So it's uh, 22 
2609 gigabytes and uh, we can also go down here on uh, the list here and you see down here we have something called ssd life left so this is at 76 so it's been at 76 ever, ever since i got the drive because when i got the drive it was it was used from a company i worked at earlier so it hasn't really gone down that much this number will go down as you write to the ssd and we can go to the other drive this is the uh, hard drive storage drive so this is good nothing more to say there really and there we have the other kingston ssd you can see that it uh, sits here and it's also good it's at 77 percent 77 ssd life left and the third uh, 120 gigabyte ssd again it's uh, not been written that too uh, too much to it and it has 82 ssd life uh, left so i still have a lot of ssd life left on <coughs> this storage device so i think i can i don't know how how long uh, time i can plot to these drives but when this uh, number goes down to zero you can expect to have problems with the uh, ssd because uh, it kind of kind of gets uh, worn out uh, when you write a lot of uh, data to it just have a little coffee so when you are <clears throat> plotting files on an SSD you have to realize that you are writing a lot of data and you will eventually wear out the SSD and that's why people are using uh, enterprise gra uh, grade SSDs for this type of operation and I can show you how my storage setup looks like here so I have uh, network uh, devices attached here so I have a uh, as I said a Ubuntu Linux server going on in the basement which is uh, plotting and storing the files and I have a few sh uh, shares here so I have plot one that is one terabyte and plot 2 is 1 terabyte plot 3 is an external drive it's 8 terabytes where i'm currently plotting to and plot 4 is a 2 external 2 terabyte drive which i have filled up and i also have my 12 terabyte internal drive on this pc and also i have an unraid server where i back up my stuff like pictures youtube videos like this one and production music production and things like that so i'm well my network is actually <laughs> pretty active now and i can show you how my uh ubuntu server looks like so we i'm just going to connect to it using vnc here it is let's take a look here we have one terminal window which is using uh, chia in command line so this is just creating plots and it's uh, using a uh, 480 gigabyte kingston ssd which i bought new on a rebate plotting to that drive and it's uh, throwing the finished file off to a uh, spinning uh, slower drive then it's the eight terabyte uh, external drive. I also have a uh, system monitoring setup here in my uh, second terminal screen. This is just running htop so I can see that how many CPU cores is being used, how much memory is being used and swap and things like that. So this is just an old PC someone threw away at I'm, I have been working in IT so they just threw it away. I think it's in Corf i5 or something and it works just fine for plotting no issues there and i can it's linux so i can connect like every drive to it and it will just work so i have the drives here under mnt so i have the 480 gigabyte drive here which is used as a temporary drive for uh, plotting we have plot one it's filled up and plot two so these are internal drives plot three is an external drive and plot 4 is also an external drive and uh, as you saw i had the two unboxed or not unboxed uh, 10 terabyte drives i have not connected to the system yet but that is going to be plot 5 and plot 6 and uh, some more storage for this type of uh, farming operation so i'm just going to keep creating plots on my hard drives and go the solo farming way yeah we'll just see how it develops and i think uh, with uh, in a short period of time maybe a week or two or something like that i think it will be just uh, 
maybe pointless and it could be a better thing to just move the farming over to a pool instead obviously you you won't get two chias when you're mining with a pool but you will get more concise rewards and that's of course a good thing and it's also interesting to see what the price of chia will be as of this filming it's around a thousand dollars yeah we will see what happens i think at least it's interesting and it's an interesting idea of using drives that use much less power uh, compared to bitcoin but i i don't honestly i don't believe that chi is it will take over bitcoin um i think there's a lot of reasons bitcoin still will be the uh, biggest uh, cryptocurrency on the planet uh, one it was the first one two people have used uh tremendous amount of resources and time and money and everything into mining bitcoin and i don't really think that people will abandon bitcoin for chia i th still think chia is something that is maybe technically i don't I, I don't want to say better than bitcoin but at least it uses less power for uh, minting new coins so that was a little bit about what i'm doing and uh, yeah just showing off my chia farm that's basically the video for today if you have any questions you can type them down in the comments below and i will try to answer them maybe i'll make a video on the questions if you want to know how i invest in uh, well cryptocurrency and chia and things like that you can also just type in the comments below and uh, i will probably make a video about that as well it depends thank you for watching this video at least and uh, take care uh, i just want to show you a thing Uh, no, I didn't find it. I just wanted to show you one of these uh, block eruptors you could use for uh, mining Bitcoin back in the day. Just to prove to you that I did that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.